If you feel the dissatisfaction of hitting the target you aimed for, which was nothing, um, I want to help you set better goals for next year. of oceans but love is all I preach I'm learning your temperature I'm learning your space I'll keep swimming softly now through wind and way I can take a breath when has been incredibly good to me. You have been amazingly kind uh, to me and to this channel. Over this year, you have been incredible. 11.3 million minutes have been viewed, 1.8 million views on my videos, all focused around helping you find the right guitars, sell the wrong guitars, and build a meaningful guitar collection. It's been really cool. Um, there are times as a YouTuber that you feel like you start playing a character of yourself and it doesn't feel like reality. It feels like um, I'm coming down. I can feel it. Um, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and just thank you for just, I mean, it's been an amazing ride this year. Uh, I never in a million years thought that I would able be able um, to take care of my family, take care of my kids, uh, pay for the things that we're doing in our life to to do all those around a guitar shop. So I, I worked at a guitar shop for years. For seven or eight years, I worked at a guitar shop full time. I made $8 an hour. Uh, I never made enough money. And uh, But what I loved, I loved the people, I loved the guitars, I loved seeing people find the right guitars. So I've been trying to find a way back to that over the last 10 years, 15 years. I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who's booked a call, uh, who's done a video call with me, everyone who's downloaded a course, everyone who's bought the buyer's guide, everyone who has asked me questions through Instagram or Facebook or through my website, through emails, trying to figure out the right guitars, trying to figure out what is good for you about this guitar and whether you should buy it or how to negotiate. It's been one of the coolest honors of my life, being involved in so many people's lives in really important decisions, making substantial financial decisions sometimes. Uh, a lot of times it's people finding cool guitars that they can just afford, they're a couple hundred bucks, and they can just get them today if, if it's a good thing for them. But other people, uh, I've taken a lot of phone calls this year just like saving up giant amounts of money trying to make the right decision, and I understand how stressful that can be, especially on your own. Because I really, like I really, in my in the center of me, in my heart, I believe that we are better together. And I think that a lot of guitar culture is trying to divide people. And so that's where, that's 
the message that I have is that we're better together. My mind is flicking through all of these different messages and stuff of people buying guitars and selling guitars. I think of Jansen buying so many cool uh, callings this year. I think of uh, my friend Lisa, who I got to help kind of be involved with her trying to sell a really cool Santa Cruz. I think of all the guitar builders I got to know this year. I got to know Ben Padgett, who's amazing. He's become such a, a quick dear friend. And uh, so I, I bought one of his guitars and I think of all of the incredible guitars I didn't even know existed. Uh, Gallagher guitars in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, David Mathis, who's amazing. Uh, I just, I cannot, Iris, Iris guitars. My mind is literally just bubbling up with all of these amazing guitar builders that I didn't even know existed or I wasn't aware of these guitars even a year ago. And um, I'm just so thankful. When my wife and I were kind of looking at can I keep doing YouTube a year ago? One of the, the goals we set and had to accomplish was we had to be able to get channel sponsors, companies that would pay more consistently, more reliably, so that uh, we're not stressing about the mortgage payment every month, that we're not stressing about how are we going to pay for ballet classes. Uh, and thankfully, in amazing grace, um, there has been a couple of sponsors that have come in. Sweetwater is one of them uh, that has been just so kind and consistent. Fender has been amazing in this too. Uh, Avian Guitars has been really wonderful as well. Uh, Guild, uh, we've been able to do a bunch of fun stuff together this year. Um, Gallagher is another brand that I'm going to start working with a lot more next year. And so um, the stability of being able to help as many guitar players find the right guitars as possible that was the thing that we've been trying to navigate. Now, a year ago, I was making videos in a basement. And it was a cold, dark basement, and it's right underneath our living room. And it was still COVID time. It still is a little bit. And so with that, I mean, it was just so stressful to try and, you know, to say, like, I have to film a video. And can you guys go on a walk? And it's freezing. It's nine degrees outside. And my wife would say, all right, I will take the kids for 40 minutes. That's all the time you get, Shepard. And... Um, and uh, she's been amazingly um, gracious and wonderful in supporting me getting to just talk to a camera like it's a person and, you know, help people find the right guitars. And uh, so earlier this year was an amazing gift. My friend Caleb and my friend Eric, uh, they came together. Caleb built out this space. This is a, it's an old garage that we turned into a studio. It's amazing. Um, it is perfectly warm in the winter and cool in the summer. And it houses just such a cool collection of guitars. And Eric um, had some connections with Daikin, and so he was able to get a sponsorship for the channel. So I didn't have to pay the, it basically would have been around $2,000, $2,500 for the AC unit and the install for the mini split. And, and he and Star Heating and Cooling sponsored it. And it's just, uh, how do you receive kindness and, and, um, how do you receive gifts and that kind of thing? I've, I've tried to just like, I mean, lead with humility. I'm, I'm incredibly thankful for this because I know the stakes. Like what's at stake? If I stop doing what I'm doing, the stakes are lots of guitar players are going to buy their own guitars. And that's more than just like the economic impact. It is the emotional and relational toll that people will experience. The world needs guitar players. The world needs people that create music because where there is music, there is joy, there is levity, there is space for relationship to, to start. And so the world needs very normal, very ordinary guitar players everywhere. Coffee shops, farmers markets, church, uh, business meetings. I don't know. Maybe there's music at business meetings, but we need very normal guitar players. So if, if I stop and I'm not taking credit for, for much, but I do think that the message of most of the guitar marketing stuff seems to be aimed at division and not feeling good enough. You're not Slash, so you should give up and maybe just buy a Slash acoustic guitar or whatever, play it in your basement, play it, you know, whatever. I think we need to help people find guitars that will help them get out of their houses and into the world. And to be ordinary, to be just normal guitar players, don't be, you don't have to be a shredder. You don't have to be iconic, amazing world-class. You just need to have a guitar in your lap and share what you find when you strum it and you create music. 
So um, this is, I wanted to kind of show some of my favorite moments from this year because there were really cool things that happened this year. I didn't get to do some of the things that I aimed for, but that's okay. You set goals and I always set goals that are attainable, but they're crazy. One of the philosophies that a mentor in college always told me to aim for was to aim for perfection. And when you fall short, you will hit excellent. Because if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. And I think a lot of us aim at nothing. We just, I'll figure it out. I'll, you know, we'll figure it out along the way. And, and they find themselves being incredibly disappointed in their just guitar collection, in their guitar playing, in their relationships, in their life. So for me, I continue to aim for excellence. Uh, I continue to aim for perfection and I will fall short. It's, it's a certainty. I will hit excellent or I'll hit good and I'm okay with either of those. And um, so anyway, here's some of my favorite clips from this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm tickled pink. <laughs> that was the easiest sale. I always thought my first guitar would be in March. There will be another, there will be another one. Something new to fall into, and it'll be a better one. This guitar got me banned from Instagram for about a year. Hey man, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I love these. I've wanted one of these since college. After I picked up the guitar, I ran down to the beach. Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Allegheny Luthery and Paget Guitars. This is Ben Paget. We've become fast friends because we both freaking love acoustic guitars. Everybody, I'm Jeremy, and this is Mark. Hello. And I love Martin guitars, and you have never played a Martin guitar. Never. This one definitely feels chunkier and. It definitely has more of a manly neck. This has been a really fun tour of all the Martins that I have and just uh, introducing a friend to a thing that I care about a lot. Mark Hopkins, tell them how people can find you. Uh, Mark Hopkins Music on YouTube, uh, Instagram, same thing. Don't feel much like singing tonight cause it's cold in these dark hills. Spend a lot of time just to pay my dues and now I wanna pay my bills. It's a plastic scene. Lost his sheen. Can't feel it. Looks a little more like So once he saw that this was just a finished crack, no structural damage, he took this razor blade, and this was amazing to watch. This is the one I play most of the time. Ooh, that's beautiful. He said I got too many guitars. <laughs> I just wanted to know that about you. Uh, th this one probably I won't sell, but yeah. uh, I just want to know the value. I can, I can give you ballpark on this one. So these, I don't think 
production was lower on those, but there's certainly, you see less D18s than D28s. And it might just be because people think D D28s would be worth more being rosewood. Yeah. And we have uh, some of J.W. Gallagher's old cherry, because he built a lot of Queen Anne style yeah. furniture, so he had a lot of cherry. And Don sold us enough to build 25 guitars. Hunter. How's it going, man? What's your name? I'm Jeremy. Jeremy, good to meet hey, you. Hey, man. Um, we use like 800 grit to level the finish out, and yeah. then we'll bring it up to 1,000 grit, and then take it to our buffing wheel, and we've got three different wheels. We run up through the grits, take it to a high polish, like these Jeez, ones. This that is, is so cool. Custom guitar for a customer. This is our first uh, rosewood slope shoulder. Oh, cool. But yeah, we Look like that. bring that, them up like, to this high gloss. That green is crazy. Yeah, this is Adirondack. Yeah, that's that's about it. What do you got here? I mean, everyone knows about them. I posted about them on Monday, but you know. Yeah, I feel, yeah, that's where I was like. I feel like I've yeah. seen some of these. But what's the, what's the basic specs on them? It's, um, they're, uh, um, it's our Saris P2 guitar, which is actually not an official model, but the first time we've done it, which is our Saris J, but instead of a mastery bridge and trim, it's Got a it. tunematic. Yeah, it's cool. um, kind of going back to the classic uh, Fan OS uh, JM6. It has almost an SP6. So, <laughs> the classic Dennis Fano design, uh, Karina bodies, um, tempered maple necks, all flame, uh, African blackwood fingerboards, all gold hardware, Fralin P90s. You know, we're really going for that uh, 58 Explorer. Uh, cool. Eight, Told anybody uh, about this yet. Runs. So this is just a PAF clone. Okay. Um, but this is something different. Secret. What? Secret. What secrets can there be? <laughs> I can tell you. Okay. Once the camera's yeah, out. Yeah, I'll turn this off. <laughs> It is a. It is. Those are awesome. This is the All right, man. Dude, good to see Love you, brother. Bye, you, man. Glad you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay, that's so cool. So if you come out of this year and you feel like, oh man, I didn't succeed. I didn't hit the things I wanted to do. I didn't hit the goals. I didn't aim at anything and I hit it. If you feel the dissatisfaction of hitting the target you aimed for, which was nothing, um, I want to help you set better goals for next year. That's why over this last year, I did a couple hundred video calls uh, where I just helped people figure out if guitars are right for them. Most of those conversations were about, I'm thinking about this guitar or this guitar. What should I buy? Or I want to buy an old Martin. What do I need to know about an old Martin? Or I'm trying to find a guitar from my birth year. How do I find it? And so I just found myself coaching people over and over and over. And what I found were these threads. I found these threads that were basically people don't know how to buy the right guitars. They don't know how to negotiate. They don't know how to prospect. They don't know how to find a guitar. They don't know when they find the right guitar. They don't know how to see if that's a fair price or, or all of that. And so I was like, okay, I need to start making some videos and some resources around how to buy the right guitars. Cause lots of people just don't know how to cut through the noise because it's just so much just BS you have to go through to figure out which guitars are right for you, especially if you're looking at YouTube videos, if you're looking at marketing around certain models. And then what I found was there were a lot of people that were really turned off, really um, discouraged and frustrated and angry and disappointed in themselves that they had bought the wrong guitars. And so what I found is people don't know how to sell guitars when they get the wrong ones. And it's one, they don't know how to recoup from the fact that you're gonna buy the wrong guitars and when you do, you're gonna feel 
you could have an existential crisis. I've met you. I've had video calls with you that are having kind of this low-level existential crisis because I spent months researching this guitar and I finally got it and it was here and I hate it. And it is not right for me and I don't know how I was so wrong for so long and why it cost me so much money and now I don't know if I should even keep playing guitar. It's a smidge dramatic, but I just, I saw that over and over and over with different people. And um, so... I started thinking, okay, well, I need to figure out a resource to help people sell the wrong guitars, how to how to emotionally clear up, you know, the, how they miscalculated and misjudged and they bought the wrong thing. So emotionally recoup, but I also knew that I needed to figure out a way to help people practically sell guitars. Where do you sell them? How do you get the most money out of them? How do you take good pictures of them? How do you write good descriptions about them? How do you interact with people? How do you get, you know, uh, how do you read, you know, the the verbal and nonverbal communication. And so I started kind of putting the, the pin in my head of like, okay, I need to, I need to, I need to do that. And then along the way, I'm in my own journey buying and selling guitars and building a collection. And I started finding guitars that I'm realizing now I want to keep some of these guitars for the rest of my life. I'm starting to really build a collection that I'm proud of and is like 100% representative of me. If I died and someone came and had to help my wife sell off my guitar collection and they didn't know me, they would know who I am and what I value by the collection of guitars and amps and pedals and gear that I have in this room. And so I started thinking, I want to share that because I think it is not hard. It really is not hard to get uh, guitars. It's not hard to get a bunch of guitars, but it's really hard for those guitars to be representative of you other than just impulsivity and you know, generally a genre that you like, I think it's really hard to get a collection that when someone says it, they're like, oh, this is Chris. This, this is everything about Chris, how he would play in a band, how he would play a solo show, how he'd play at church, um, how he would play when he's just sitting around on vacation. Um, so that's, that's the goal. I have found a deep and meaningful life there that is knowing myself getting the right guitars, selling the wrong guitars, gaining momentum, building a collection. And so before I knew it, I had the essentials of what I knew needed to be out in the world for guitar players. And so that's why I spent the last couple months of this year building out right guitars faster. This is the best work I've been able to do to date. I'm incredibly proud of it. It is 19 videos. It is how to buy the right guitars, sell the wrong guitars, and build a meaningful guitar collection. It's cool. I... I Dylan and I have worked so hard putting this thing together and uh, it's a feat that a few years ago I could only have dreamed of doing. I even put it off many months this year because I was just intimidated by how much work it was going to be. And uh, and so if you are trying to set goals for 2021, if you're trying to figure out how to, how to live life with guitars in such a way that it helps you make better friends, play more music, this is the best gift that I have for you. And uh, so it's called Write Guitars Faster. There's going to be a link down in the description below. Find time. When it's winter, when you're trying to figure out uh, this next year, you should do this. You should absolutely put some time and effort into it. Because if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every single time. And it it matters too much. Matters too much. Um, because I think, I, man, I just... I think so many of us are not getting enough out of life. Anyway, thank you for 2021. Here's to 2022. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, 11.3 million views, 1.8 million, or 11.3 million minutes and 1.8 million views. I think I gained like seven or eight or 9,000 subscribers. And uh, here's to 2021. I wanna hit 100,000 next year. I wanna sell a couple thousand uh, seats in Write Guitars Faster. Uh, I want to see people learn how to build meaningful guitar collections. I wanna start traveling the country. I wanna be around more guitars. I wanna be around more people. I wanna go to more shows. I wanna do meetups at guitar shows. I want to help fill the world with music and friendship. And um, we're getting there. And I can't do it without you. I'm incredibly thankful for you. This is only because of you. And uh, thanks for watching every one of these videos. Thanks for every thumbs up. Thanks for every share when you play when you share these with your guitar playing friends. 
uh, it causes a direct good to me and my family and to the world that you and I get to share. So thanks for everything. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas, wonderful New Year's, and that you start the year feeling equipped, able, prepared, ready, and uh, and you don't feel worn out like the gas light's already on uh, and aimless. Don't be aimless. Aim at something. Hit something wonderful. See what happens to you. You can do it. I believe in you.